Hello everyone, I'm Jay Johnson and welcome to WTF, which stands for This Week in Track and Field. Do you see what we did there? Uh, okay, okay. Let's just move on to the action from the third instalment of the Diamond League series, the Prefontaine Classic. Things kicked off on Saturday the 28th of May in Eugene, Oregon, which will be the host city for the 18th edition of the World Championships later this summer. Although there were some big names withdrawn in the days leading in, like Olympic champions Marcel Jacobs and American A Thing Mo, the show got underway on Saturday with a bang. First up, with a loaded field, the women's 100 metres. Athletes were introduced and walked out one by one. Straight away, it seems Shakira Richardson was there to put on a show. Wearing a crown, some belly jewels, the zip of her uniform pulled down as low as it could go, and a long ponytail that nearly touched the track, Shakari brought the pizzazz and excitement we all want to see. It was Richardson that seemed to explode out of the blocks, getting quickly into her running. Unfortunately, a wardrobe malfunction where she lost her crown at about 60 metres seemed to distract her, but Jamaica's Elaine thompson Hera was already pulling away and looking in a totally different class. 10.79, real daylight between the Olympic champion and the rest. It was tight on the line for second, but Shakari snatched it from Jamaica's Sharika Jackson, clocking the same time. This prepares me to look forward to my championship and to see where I'm at right now. I think I'm happy to see where I'm at right now. Next, let's talk about the men's 400 metres. In case anyone was in doubt, Michael Norman came to remind people why he's talked about as one of the best sprinters in the world. But Mike Norman's not going to be caught, surely. Karani James in second. One, two, three, clearly there. The winning time, 43.60. And that is a new meeting record for Mike Norman. I think everybody looks at the race when they look at like who's the threats in the race, you know, who's done what, um, and they just kind of, you know, elevate. In second was Karani James of Grenada. And in third was an informed Matthew Hudson Smith of Great Britain. And then Hudson Smith with a new national record in third. After a near DQ for a false start, Hudson Smith was let off the hook, going on to run that fantastic time. I think he owes that official a drink. Referee. Over in the field, the women's long jump got underway hosting a world-class field. This included Olympic bronze medalist Essie Broom of Nigeria, talented American Tara Davis, and the flamboyant Swede, Katie Sagnia. The event didn't really seem to come alive until Sagnia popped out a big PB of 6.95, which was enough to win the competition. Oh, that's a huge jump from her. No wonder she applauds. We see the marks, look at that, perfect on the board. Well, a little dance, a jig of delight from Sanya. On a wet and soggy track, the women's 200, which was not a Diamond League event, set off and from the gun, Shelly-Ann Fraser-Price looked like she meant business. And Prandini and Shelly-Ann Fraser-Price got it between them in lane two, clocks right up there. But it's Prandini and Shelly-Ann Fraser-Price just goes away here, shows her class, shows her speed. Finishes very strongly indeed. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, not that quick, but totally dominant against a very high quality field, an emphatic win. After opening her season in the 100 meters with a time of 10.67, at 35 years old, time is still clearly on her side. Heading back over to the infield, we take a look at the men's shot put. The big men of the sport always know how to put on a show, and not much change this time. American Ryan Krauser was in supreme form, launching the shot out to a massive well, uh, what we saw was a few minutes ago. This is live. Krauser in his second round still has a lead, and that's huge. Wonderful second round effort from the big man. I said he'd want to put on a show here in front of the home crowd. The question is, can he do what he did last year and win gold on home turf in a few months' time? With two laps of the track to contest, Keely Hodgkinson of Great Britain is starting to make this women's 800 look too easy. At still only 20 years old, the Brit seems to be taking it all in her stride, growing in confidence with each win. Coming away from this very, very good field level, Angie Wilson's chasing her all of the way, but Keely Hodgkinson, the Olympic silver medalist, is going to make it another Diamond League victory. 
The arms go aloft. It's a world leading 157.72. She makes it look so easy, so relaxed. American A.G. Wilson ran a smooth race but couldn't stick with the speed of Hodgkinson in the home straight and had to settle for second in a time of 158.06. I'm happy to take a few scalps. You know, we don't get to race the American girls often, so it's nice to come and do that, see where you're at, and uh, yeah, just keep building. It was time for the men's 100 metres. We all love to watch the clash between the fastest humans on the planet. And after a slightly disappointing race at the Birmingham Diamond League, we were all ready to see a fast race. Coleman just got left a little bit and Bromel gets out quicker, but it's Christian Coleman who's coming to the front and Bromel is trying to hold him off and Bromel comes away again. It's going to be Bromel who's getting it from Carly. 9.93. We didn't get a super fast time, but we did get Trayvon Bromel winning and crossing the line with some attitude. Now that's the kind of energy we expect from the world's fastest man. For me, it was personal. Not against nobody in the race, but more so for myself to show people like, man, I'm here to compete just like everybody else. I don't train to lose. This year, I'm, I'm worrying only about myself. I don't care about what the naysayers say. I'm focusing more on me. Well, that's it for our second edition of WTF. Join us next time. Will it be for the Diamond League in Rabat on June 5th or Rome on June 9th? Or maybe we'll just do both. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Jay Johnson. Toodaloo.